Hey, this is B from Kongs R Us, and I just got my hands on the Legends Pinball Rachel 1.0 board from my buddy Bobby Vu, aka To Die For Mods. Let's check it out. <laughs> So what is Rachel 1.0? It's actually just a code name for the Legends Pinball Backlast Video Input Switchboard, or otherwise known as BVIS. Now I'm not exactly sure why it was codenamed Rachel, but I actually would have preferred if it was called by its real name all along, Beavis. <laughs> Whatever it's called, it's all part of Attic Games' open and connected pinball initiative called OCP. Now this is really awesome initiative that shows that At Games is building their products with the modding community in mind. So in a nutshell, the Rachel board allows you to switch the backlash monitor to any HDMI input device with the click of a button like a PC and then return it back to the stock monitor when pressing it again. In my official review of the Legends Pinball Cab, I stated that I wouldn't recommend it if you only wanted to play the stock 22 Gottlieb games and I still stand by that statement. Yet if you find yourself willing to buy the extra Zachariah tables and invest in modding your Legends Pinball through the OCP initiative, then you just unlock the massive potential the Legends Pinball has. And at that point, I could definitely recommend it as it's probably the easiest way to build a decent entry level V-Pin cab. Now I have to give a big shout out to my boy Bobby Vu from To Die For Mods who got the Rachel 1.0 board and we tested it out together for the first time. If you're looking for master modding tips, please check out Bobby's YouTube channel in the description below. At the moment, Rachel 1.0 retails at $50 and hopefully will be available soon for everyone to purchase through the At Games eStore. There's no official word on the release date, but Bobby was part of an early test group and I just have the good fortune of knowing Bobby. Let's get to unboxing how the Rachel board comes packaged. When you open the box, there's a packing list and some instructions, plus lots of foam padding. Also included is a black push button, lengthy encoder wires, a micro switch, and an extra EDP cable. The board itself is sealed inside an anti-static bag, and the board itself looks fairly simple with two EDP connection points, HDMI, and a two-pin JST connection for the button wires. So Bobby and I quickly set up the ratio board just to do some testing to see if it worked, and here's our first reaction to pressing the button for the first time. All right, we finished installing the Rachel board. So we have our main display here and the back glass. So I'm going to switch on the back glass to my PC, but that Legends pinball is there. Bobby, press the button. Yeah. Three, Rachel two, one. 1.0. Yeah. Three, two, one. There it is. Back glass. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. So I found it takes about six seconds after you press the button for it to actually show up on the screen. So we got our pinup popper display. Got all the different games here. Terminator, Turtles, Arabian Nights, Super Mario. Clean like a mother! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Rachel, baby! So we finished installing the board, got the back glass working properly, and we're using our pinup popper front end made by Nailbuster. So big shout out and thank you to the entire VPX community that's been programming these tables. They're absolutely fantastic. It does take a lot of time to set up everything. And when I installed it on this setup, uh, the monitors got switched. So we had some issues with the tables running, but check out Bobby's final thoughts. Ooh, yeah. Oh, now you telling me this is not worth it? Huh? Compare RK1 up? You had to mod it to make it worth it. Okay, one of you made you had to mod worse. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> you definitely may have a point there, Bobby. But let's go ahead and check out how to get back to our stock at Games Legends pinball through the Rachel button. All right. So after you're done playing a table, right? Exit back into Popper. So we want to go back to your at Games. Just push the button. Boom. And then all of a sudden. We're playing Legends Pinball right away. That's the beauty Ease. of Rachel. You can switch back and forth from the stock tables. That pretty much wraps up this video, but check out this sneak peek of Mrs. Kong's Arrest helping me with an installation tutorial for the Rachel 1.0 board on my own Legends Pinball. She definitely loves to use that drill and knows how to turn Rachel on. Thanks for watching and taking it to the next level.